So with the 12th pick of the first round of the 2016 MLS Super Draft, the Chicago Fire select from the University of North Carolina, defender Jonathan Campbell. Okay, before we get into Jonathan Campbell from North Carolina, Taylor, explain to me what just happened with allocation and flips of, of all those kinds. What happened here? The number one rumor floating around the combine, everyone was talking about Polito going to the Colorado Rapids, but the number one rumor floating around, particularly over the last 72 hours, is Alejandro Bedoya coming back to Major League Soccer. They are in negotiations of that. Now you've got the number one allocation spot. Colorado is either going after Polito or they're going after Bedoya. This trade right here tells me they want Bedoya, and I, and I fully expect that to come to a resolution over the next week or so of Bedoya coming back to Major League Soccer. Did you get all that? Hey, I don't shoot. know what hey, I just hey, said. Hey, shoot. <laughs> the way things are going today, that might happen in the next hour or so. Let's talk about uh, – Let's talk about Campbell here from North Carolina. What are the fire getting in him? Yeah, they're getting a big guy. He's comfortable with both feet. He played at North Carolina where they used a three-man back line. He played a couple different spots there, but he projects as a big, sturdy center back. There are some questions when he gets pulled out wide, like there are about a lot of big center backs, but he's the most pro-ready senior center back in this class. I agree with that, and I, I think he just looks comfortable out there. He's, he's a type of guy who makes the game actually look pretty easy. That said, he had a couple of pretty bad mistakes at the combine. He uh, misjudged a, a goal kick that just went right over his head, uh, led to a goal. He had a couple of bad uh, turnovers, playing the ball to his midfielders in spots where they can't do anything except lose the ball. And so it was, it was weird. He looked good, didn't play good. Uh, one, one of those players, but that said, if you look at his college yeah. career, you, you know what you're getting with this They kid. did their homework. He played in the PDL with the Sounders. He's first team All-America and first team academic All-America. North Carolina had never had that before. I think they're getting a good one. Talking about a guy in the in the honors program at UNC in business administration, a minor in Spanish. He's a Tar Heel of distinction, which is a very <laughs> high honor for a guy as far as his leadership qualities are concerned, and he comes in as an experienced player. Uh, what do you look? What do you make of, of what are the Chicago of fire are doing right now with well, all these moves. I need cliff notes. I'm writing it down right now. I mean, they've done a lot. Yes, they have. Listen, and you're talking about a guy, Nelson Rodriguez, that knows this league yep. inside and out, so he's making moves. Jonathan Campbell's a player that is ACC tested. They need depth at the center back position. They, as I mentioned before, they're going after a couple European center backs, but Jonathan Campbell's tested. He's a player that can maybe grow into it. Uh, he had a very similar combine to Austin Berry. Yeah. And remember, Austin Berry went to Chicago. I, a lot of that was Friedrich playing next to him. But who knows? Maybe Campbell's a guy where he finds a relationship with one of the European center backs and puts in a good year. I'm okay with the pick, and I am very okay with what the Chicago Fire have done. They've gone out and got some good players early on. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I think you, you can see the roster taking shape a, a little bit, and uh, getting those two young guys on the back line, I think, is, is pretty huge for this franchise because, like I said, they already had the core in midfield, and I, I think that they have a center forward I like in, in uh, Gilberto. Now they have two defenders I, I like quite a bit as well, and suddenly maybe it doesn't happen in 2016, but 2017, 2018, starting to look pretty good uh, for Chicago. 